Hello, Octobones. Hello, Rat. Hello, Tic Tacs. Those guys need the Aqua Fresh. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are in Sherman, Texas, about to go to this spirit Halloween back here that apparently used to be a place called Wally's. I don't know what Wally was doing in there, but Wally was doing something in there, and he's no longer doing it in the former Wally's. Now, it may as well be called Nate's because it is a spirit Halloween. <laughs> it is super bright out here, guys, and as they say, everything is bigger in Texas. Look at the size of that spirit Halloween. Kind of surprised it doesn't have a bigger sign, though. But anyways, let's go on in and see what they have to offer in Sherman, Texas. And right up front, I see this guy. Hello, this guy. All right, guys, check it out. Something else that I just see over here. This enormous inflatable ghost that is signed by many a plethora of donators. I saw one other inflatable in one other store that had all kinds of signatures on it, and yes, I signed it too. I believe I had signed way down at the bottom, but I'm definitely signing this spooky guy today. Not to mention, he is so much bigger than I ever expected. We'll look at the inflatables in a second, but I believe he is five, maybe six feet tall. Maybe even bigger than that, because he is huge. Look, somebody even signed it Mama Porch. Who in the heck is Mama Porch? Oh, look, we also have Popkins Pickles. Oh, looky what we have here. There's actually a Nathan on the ghost. Anyways, let's come on back over here and go through the tunnel of death with the spooky bubbles of death that are working in all four corners, and we can hear it up here. Do we have, Oh yeah, that's working as well. Hello, Jack. And look who we have over here, Mr. Old Bag of Bones, AKA Jumping Jack. Uh-oh, he looks like he's not put together correctly there, so I'm not gonna try to get him jumping, it might break him. And we do not have young hairdo over here, but we do have the chains of death. We already talked to you, Shorty. Look at this, though. We have a Mr. Punchy over here, a.k.a. Half a Head, and he is now only 209. I wonder why. Oh, I see, because he's the in-store display model, and he doesn't inflate. I see his parachute is kind of deflated there. Nonetheless, he is pretty dang awesome. All right, guys, we got one more monster guy over here to see if you want to call him a monster. I think that might just be an offensive turn for this guy because he's so awesome. Why does his eyes not stay lit? Okay, I'm going to stand on the... Here we go. There you go, Monty. I know. I'd be hurt if somebody called me a monster, too. <laughs> All right, we have the obligatory stack of jumping spiders here. We have two nozzles right here, guys, as well as a break dancing straw man. We have another punchy right here and a lucky bottoms on the bottom. We have one, two Monty's and two sinister spirit dolls. Oh, and look at what we have up here, guys. Holy crap, there's actually four of them. Beetlejuice sandworm groundbreakers. All right, let's take a walk through the store here and see what we can find in the back. You just never know what's gonna be around any corner. Let's keep looking. I know there's something awesome coming. I'm just not sure what it is. Oh my gosh, I found what it is, guys. Holy crap. The second one I've seen recently. I can't even breathe, I'm so excited. It's the cat dog. I did not buy the cat dog at the other store, guys but I have to buy him today. It'll be a shame to take him off the top of the box though because he's set up so nice and such an awesome display of death around the skulls, including the triple eye 
Triclops, Triclops guy, or whatever I called him before. I'm so excited about the cat dog, I can't even remember. All right, what is his actual name here? Does it say cat dog? Stitched up pup is what it says. And I think it's only referring to this part of the stitched up because this part is definitely a cat. It is a cat, isn't it? Why won't you just tell me? Guys, I think this is the only store where we have actually seen four secret keeping cats. We have one, two, two creeping cats, but four secret keeping cats. That is four times the secrets that are going on in this Spirit Halloween right here. Maybe, just maybe, they've shared some secrets with this cat. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about the cat dog, guys. I put him up at the counter so they would save him for me. So let's come back here and look at the zombie babies. And unfortunately, we only have two. I don't see any other zombie babies like peeking out from above any of the other shelves, but we do have these two right here. This one that's crawling away, this one that's crawling towards a Nestle bar, and this one who's eating chocolate-covered spiders. Oh, and we have a bucket. Let's leave it some stickers. And speaking of stickers, look who we have right over here, guys. We have an Uncle Charlie doll right next to a Hugs doll and another Uncle Charlie. And they are also adorned by the tri sci Biclops or whatever I called him. Hello, Octobones. Hello, Rat. Hello, Tic Tacs. Those guys need the Aqua Fresh. <laughs> If this guy chewed some trident on this side, do you think it would take care of the bad breath on this side? Okay, I thought this was very strange. Here's a ghost inflatable, and for a minute I thought this was the one that was up front, but this is only four feet tall. Right above him, however, is this one that's eight feet tall, and he is... $49.99, that's not bad for a huge inflatable like that. They also have the haunted tree, the spooky secret keeping cat, the tombstone, the coffin, the reaper, the killer clown's inflatable, the fright in the box, and the scary clown archway. Oh wait, they also have the wolfman. Have we looked at him yet? I know we saw him in other stores, but I don't think we looked at him in this store. I love to see how every store is set up differently according to its layout. This is like a giant cove back here, and and they have all kinds of stuff. They are totally stocked up with everything. Here we have Beetlejuice. We have, oh my gosh, look how many Michael Myers slashers slashing the pumpkin we have here. Oh, look at this. All the vintage masks are now on sale. $9.97. How cool is that? We have a whole plethora of Hocus Pocus stuff back here. So much Hocus Pocus. This isn't Hocus Pocus, but that is. Surprisingly, I don't see Billy Butcherson's head, but look at this. We have the Sanderson Sisters ceramic mugs. Here's one of them, and then here's another one, but there should be a third one somewhere, and I don't see that. Oh, but look at what they do have here, guys. They have the leather face. Now, here's the thing. I'm in Texas right now. I was waiting until Texas to buy this. But if I'm gonna buy that cat dog, that's already 50 bucks. So I don't think I'm gonna buy the leather face from here. What the heck? Pretty woman mask. I never noticed that before. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, since I'm getting the cat dog, and I can't resist the cat dog, can I? Should I get this instead of the cat dog? Man, I don't know. This is wrong. Man, if I pass up that cat dog right now and I don't find another one, I'm going to be so mad at myself. I would think that this guy's going to be easier to find in other stores than the cat dog. But where in the heck can I put the cat dog in the RV? I've got little ghouls and monsters and sidesteppers and everything all over the place stashed away in all the little compartments. I don't even know if I have room for the cat dog. Maybe I could put it in Marion's closet. <laughs> All right, we got the Sam sidestepper, the Lily, Lily, Lydia, I can't even say it, the Lydia sidestepper. We got the Billy Butcherson, the Slim, we got the Pennywise, and the Spiky. I also still haven't found the Headless Horseman snow globe. I really don't expect to find him in here, and he is totally sold out online. But I will keep my hopes up and keep looking just in case. You just never know what's going to pop up or where. All right, let's come on over here to the masks, guys. I just want to take a little look. You never know what we'll find. Here's those mini hats I was talking about. We still need to get one for my little bald crouchy. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, I'm probably gonna have to like make one or go online and see if I can find one. We do have this descendant of Lord Farquaad here. Wow, look at all these masks, guys. They are just absolutely packed in here. They got some scream mixed up in there. They got this crazy guy up here with all the eyes. He doesn't miss a thing. We got these shiny guys here too, the metallic pumpkin mask, the sinister ghost mask. I think these are so awesome. This one actually kind of looks like the new carved pumpkin ghost face mask, which I honestly don't care all that much for, but these look totally awesome. Look, it's a nerd cap. Oh my gosh, have we ever seen this one, guys? Ash versus Evil Dead? That is a pretty awesome looking mask right there, $59.99. Is there a date on this? I don't see a date, but it's from Trick or Treat Studios. That is an awesome looking mask. All right, let's head over here and see what we can find, guys. Oh, look, they have both Crouchy and Skelly plush over here. They have three Crouchies, actually, and one Skelly. Man, just once, I would love to walk into a store and find a 4X just lurking among these. I love this design so much, but it stops at 2X. I also love this put on a happy face leather face one. That is awesome. But that one I'm sure also stops at 2X. They're pretty well stocked in the ghost face department here too, as well as Freddy and Michael and Jason and Chucky. Where's Chucky? Did I say Chucky and there's not a Chucky in front of me? What in the world? Guys, did we see this crossbody bag here? The Dr. Seuss cat in the hat fish? crossbody bag. Not that I want it, but it is pretty dang cool. What is this? A light up genie lamp. Do you think we could have three wishes if we bought this? Let's push the button. Listen to that. I hear the genie, but I don't see him. Where are you, genie? I want my wishes. All right, guys, I think we have seen pretty much everything, except for have we ever seen this skull before? This is right where the cat dog was, but I snatched him up. And now here's this weird looking skull that looks like a clown skull. All right, guys, I decided on the cat dog. I couldn't leave him behind. And I also made a $5 donation and I got to sign the ghost and it's way up there on the top of his forehead right about there. All right, guys, that was a pretty awesome store. Stay tuned. I believe that was store number 76. That means we have 24 more to go and you don't want to miss it. Did somebody order a cat dog? Oh my God, scared me. <laughs>